Hi, everyone. Hello, everybody. Sí, que no, que no iba a poder, pues. Hello, Miss. Hello, good evening. How are you, everyone? ¿Qué pasó? Ya está bien. Hello. Can you hear? ¿Qué? No me escucha, teacher. Tengo un mal esto, quizá. Niña, ustedes me escuchan. Sí, sí niña, se sí se oye. Mis no se oye. Hello, hello, hello. Can you hear? Me? Yes, now? Ready. Okay, excellent. How are you guys? How are you I'm today? Fine. You're fine. Welcome, Sandra Margarita, Gabriela Abigail, Sandra Guadalupe, Adalice, Juan Alberto. We have Sochil. Yes, welcome. We got Judy. We got Fernando. How are you guys? Welcome to your class. <clears throat> One more time. Everyone is all right? Is everybody okay? Yes? Yes. Everybody nice? Excellent. That's all right. Okay. Okay. Remember that yesterday, well, we couldn't continue, right? But we'll go ahead with this point. We'll continue with our present continuous form. And what is the present continuous? Well, this one is to express actions that are occurring at this moment. So they are activities, right? That we can do at this precise moment. And we have here certain formulas. We have the subject plus is, am or are, remember this one, depending on the subject that you have. Then you have a verb plus the ing form. And this is an affirmative form. For example, he is playing football. What is the subject? Tell me what's the subject, please. He. He, excellent. And we have the verb be. Then we have the action that is playing. And then we have Football, that is the complement in this case. Now, we have another example here that it says, present continuous tense. He is driving a car. Can you observe here? He's doing an action in a car, driving. Driving a car. Let's continue. Good night, teacher. Hello, good evening, welcome. All right, so let's see. Juan good Alberto. night, teacher. Good night a todos. Hey, good evening. Welcome, guys. Thank you. Welcome to your class. We are here with the present continuous that we mentioned that they are representing actions that are occurring at this moment. So let's continue with other examples here. We have action verbs. So to this one, we represent actions. And we need to have some examples here. For example, if you have the verb walk, you have walk, run, ride, sit down, stand up, fight, think, cry, listen, play, read, and laugh. Now tell me, do you have a new verb? Algún verbo nuevo? Do you have a new verb? Talk. We have good good evening. talk. Talk. Hey, good evening. Welcome. What is dreaming? Talk? Good evening. Yes. Which one? Dreaming, soñando. 
ah, okay, that's going to be another verb, right? Like with the verb dream. And about the ones that you have here, the mm. pictures that you have here, do you have a new verb? Uh, sitting down. Ah, okay. You have sit down, like sentarse, right? So you use it with the ing form. Yeah, sitting down when the action is occurring at this moment. What about laugh? What is laugh? Okay, it's fine. Okay, now let's check. What is laugh? Reírse. Reírse, that's great. What about think? Pensar. Pensar. Sonriente, no. Eh, no, pensar. Este puede aplicar como creer o pensar. De también dar una opinión. And in general, we use think. Fight, what is fight? Pelear. Pelear, luchar. All right, that's good. Okay, now let's see about the formula. We have, don't forget that verbing is part of this structure. So we need to conjugate the verb to be. In this case, the verb to be is an auxiliary, not the verb, depending on the subject. For example, I am, and then we include a verb with the ing. You, we, they, are, plus the ing. Then we have he, she, it, is, plus a verb in the ing form. Now, let's see another example, more specific examples. In number one, I am currently studying for the exams. Let's observe. The subject is I. The verb is am. All of this is parts, right, of this, currently. This is an adverb, this is an adverb, like, actualmente, that means currently. Studying is my verb. You see, you have the base form of the verb, and you include ing form. That is the very formal way, right, to include it there. All right, so we have it here. And then we have the other one, number two. She is playing the guitar right now. What is the subject? She. She, excellent. What is the verb be? Is. 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 The verb be is. Because you conjugate is. depending on the subject. In this case, she, right? She is. Then you have the action that is playing. Play. Play. The base form of the verb, forma base, that will be play. But with ing represents an action that is occurring at this moment. Then you have a complement. Number three, we have they are watching a movie at the cinema. Number four, we are having lunch in the restaurant. Five. He is cooking dinner for his family. Six, the children are playing outside in the yard. Seven, I am talking to my friend on the phone. Eight, she is practicing her dance routine. Nine, they are painting their living room. And 10, we are listening to music in the car. Now, if you observe, we follow the same structure. We have subject, verb, verb, plus ing, and we have a complement. Now, let's repeat them. We're going to start. Let's see, Sandra, can you start, please? Repeat number one, please. I am. What's that? Well, Sandra. Oh, sorry, yes. <laughs> Sandra Margarita, <laughs> please. <laughs> Thank you. Sandra, okay. I am currently. I'm good. I am currently. I am currently studying for for my exam. Very good job. Thank you. Continue, Sandra Guadalupe. You're together then. Yeah. <laughs> Number two. <laughs> she is playing the, the guitar right now. Right now. Right. Thank you, Rafael. Continue, please. Number three. Okay. 
they are watching a movie at the cinema. At the cinema, that's right. Good one. Yes, Gabriela, continue, please. We are having lunch in the restaurant. We are having lunch in the restaurant. All right. That's very good. Nice one. Now, let's see the next one. We have number five. Juan Antonio. Miss, no escucho, solo Hello. soy yo. Hello, can you hear? Hoy sí, hoy sí, hoy sí. Yo, hoy sí, hoy sí. Can you hear? Sí, sí, sí. Okay. We'll continue. Juan Alberto, continue, please. La number cinco, five. Yes, I'm correct. Number five. He is cooking dinner for his family. Dinner, cooking dinner for his family. He is cooking dinner for his family. That's right, very good job, nice. Blanca, continue please, number six. Um, the children are playing, play? playing? Playing ox, oxil outside outside in the yard. In the yard, very good job. Yeah. Nice one. Thank you. Debbie, continue, please. Nice. Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening. Welcome, Debbie. Ay, me costó conectarme. No sé por qué el enlace no, no, me, no me agarraba. Bueno, yeah, it's new. Nos mandaron uno nuevo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Siete, ¿verdad? Yeah, number seven, please. Muy bien. I am taking. To talking. my friend, talking, talking, talking. 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 that's good. Talking uh -huh. to my friend on this phone. On the phone. Mm -hmm. On the phone. Very good. Nice one. The Fernando, phone. continue, please. Eight. She, she is practicing her dance routine. 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 Yeah, that's very good job. Nice one. Yes, Ada. Continue, please. Number nine. They are painting, painting. Their, painting their living room. That's all right. Thank you, Vanessa. Number You're 10. Welcome. Vanessa Flores. We are listening to music in the car. That's good, right? Very good job. That's nice. Okay, do you have questions in this part? No questions? Preguntas? No. No questions? Okay. Let's go ahead. Sí, yes. pregunta. Tell me. Uh, what is the meaning yard? Yard. Yard means it's like the back part or the front part of the house, like patio. Uh, okay. Sometimes it appears like a backyard, like this, backyard. <laughs> Pero si el patio es trasero, porque a veces es un front yard, si está en la parte de enfrente, front yard. So it can be two manners. Normal, normally, is a backyard. Okay, y gracias. Ahí en mis, que está I'm solamente sorry. yard, y ahí que solamente yard. yard. Solo es el patio, pero no está indicando. No específicamente cuál. Ah, si está en la parte de atrás o en la parte de frente. Let's have them. We are going to watch our video. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how No problem? <laughs> no. No? No. Great. Thank you. How to form statements using the present continuous. Let me first give the definition of the present continuous. We use the present continuous whenever you want to talk about an action that is in progress 
in this particular moment, right now. For example, I'm talking right now. I'm explaining. You're listening to the class right now. Let me write a quick formula in order to understand how to form these statements. Subject plus verb to be plus the verb uh, plus ing plus some kind of complement. As you can see on the chart, we will use the subject of the sentence plus the verb to be plus the verb in its ing form plus some complement in order to express sentences in the present progressive. On the examples, you can see the verb to be is contracted and that's because when spoken, we typically use contractions. I'm illustrating the chart without the contractions to better understand the topic. So, as our examples show, you're wearing shoes. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and write that here. We have the subject, it's you, the verb to be, are, the verb plus ing, wearing, plus the complement in this case happens to be shoes. We're wearing shoes, they're wearing shoes. When forming negative statements, you will just add not after the verb to be. Let me give an example on the chart. They are not wearing shoes. They are not wearing shoes. If we made the contraction, that'll be, they're not wearing shoes. Finally, the conjunctions towards the right-hand side, and and but, are used to give additional information or to contrast an expression. For example, it's snowing and it's very cold. That's giving additional information. I'm wearing a coat but I'm not wearing boots. That's contrasting the information. Now, I would like for you to give some examples of your own. Talk about the activities that you, your family, your friends and coworkers are doing now. For example, I'm learning English. My wife is cooking dinner. My boss is working at his office. Give as many examples as you can and share them in our discussion forums. Can you hear me? Yes. 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 All right. Good. We watch the video now. Now we're going to make some of the examples. Like here. We have here a short example like this. It says, I am riding my bike, but I'm not wearing jeans. Look at that here that we have a difference. When you include that but, it makes a contrast. It's the bad left and contrasted, right? Between affirmative and the negative. So I'm riding, riding my bike. So you're doing this action. Supposedly, when we ride about, it's necessary to wear jeans, but not this person. Estoy eh, montando mi bici, pero no estoy usando tenis, right? So you can make a contrast here. Now, let's see other example. Miss? Yes, tell me. Y en ese caso sería, no sería sneaker, sería tenis. También se es, eh, 
two forms. They are Let synonyms. Uh -huh. ah, muy bien. Say sneakers or tennis. Tenis. Cualquiera de los dos puede ser. Okay, so it's more general to use like a tennis. Como más general utilizar tennis. Mm, But the two no forms específicamente. Are no uh -huh. hay si, no hay un específico, o sea, puede like ser cualquier style. tenis oh. o sneaker, cualquiera oh, de los dos. Sneakers. Now, mm -hmm. when it's different is when you say running shoes. Now, these ones uh -huh. are specific because they are mm -hmm. to do exercise, right? Or to run. Mm -hmm. But if you say like a tennis or a sneakers, yeah, it's the It's same really. style uh -huh, of tennis. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Miss. You're very welcome. Now, let's go ahead with the next one. You're going to give me another one. Give me another example, please. I don't know. Give us another example. You can select one of these verbs. Choose one of these verbs and give us an example. Yeah, teacher. Yo. Yes, please. Ah. Another example. <laughs> I don't know if you Okay. Um, um, okay. She's swimming. Okay, she's swimming. Remember you can uh, but but she's not good. Um wearing glasses. Wearing glasses. Swimming but not wearing well in the case of glasses, if you are swimming, uh -huh. you can See, wear Googles. Googles, um, right? Googles. Like Google, right? <laughs> uh -huh. That's why Google. it's Google. Por eso se llama esta aplicación Google. Porque uno investiga. You, right? You investigate. Ah, okay. Google. Google. Uh -huh. That's why it's Google. So it's the same word. Es la misma palabra. Okay. So remember, she's um, wearing... But she's not wearing Google. Google. That's for right. that. Very good job. That's nice. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay. Give us another example, please. You can Stop. do it. Armando. <laughs> Go ahead. You okay. can okay. do it. <laughs> okay. My son is reading his favorite book. Ah, my son is reading his favorite. His, his no. Favorite? Uh, Reading. Say reading, right? Yes. Thank you. Uh -huh. Reading his favorite book. Book. Very good. Yeah, that's good. Very good. Nice. Thank Pero ahí me, quedé, ahí me quedé. Entonces le, le, le estaba colocando book. Eh, perdón, but. Es ese, ese pero. Okay. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Pero. But. 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 Uh -huh. Good. Mm. But. So. Ahí me quedé. Ahí <laughs> <laughs> era, pero. No está usando sus, sus glasses. Ah, <laughs> very good. But he is not wearing. Él no, esa era la que le me faltaba. Uh -huh. He's not, uh -huh. he is not wearing his, his glasses. Glasses. Uh -huh. glasses. That's correct. Good. My son is mm -hmm. reading his favorite book, but he's not wearing his glasses. Oh, yes. Glasses are necessary sometimes, right? In some occasions. Very good. Nice one. Sandra, continue, please. ¿Cuál Sandra? Ay, yes, sorry. Sandra Alfaro. <laughs> I remember, right? <laughs> okay. I am reading a book I am, in the living uh, I'm reading. I am reading. Reading. I'm reading a reading. book. A book? In? In the, in the living room. Ah, okay. In the living room. But, 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 pero quería poner, I am not, o sea, quería poner, pero no es, no estoy viendo television. Ah, okay. But I'm not watching television. Watch. Watching. Uh -huh. Watching television. I'm not watching television. You can say television or you can say TV, right? The two forms are TV. Okay. Yes, yes. Yo quería preguntar yo también si se podía suprimir de 
Television a TV nada más. Yeah, sure. Actually, it's the most common. De hecho, es la manera más común para hacerlo más fluido. It's correct. It's like TV watching. I'm reading a book in the living room, but I'm not watching television or I'm not watching TV. That good? Okay. okay. Let's Thank see. You. I don't know. Give us another example, please. Hello, can you listen? Hello, hello. Hey, Sorry. Hey. In, list, in listening. I'm listening. I'm listening music. To music. Classic. To music classic. Ah, to classical music. Este Sorry. Un to, classical, to classical music. Uh -huh. I'm listening but, to classical music. Uh -huh. But, but uh, not waiting. But I'm not. But I'm not, I'm not waiting. Wearing. Mm, ahí me quedé. I'm uh, not wearing what? You can say. Watch. A watch. But listening to music. Watch, watch, watch the video. Ah, okay, but I'm not watching the video. Uh -huh. I'm not watching the video, so le podemos eliminar el wearing. Porque okay, okay. El wearing indica I'm cómo not... usar una prenda. Right? You can connect with other verbs. Se puede conectar con otro verbo. So I'm listening to classical music, but I'm not watching the video. Yeah, that's the video. Good. Like in YouTube, right? You're listening so, to so, music. Solo listen, watch... solo listen. Uh -huh. Solo estoy escuchando. Excellent, that is correct. Very good. Yeah, give us another example. Thank you. That's very good. Blanca. Another example, please. Teacher. Yes. Yes. Tell me. Have a question? Sí, en una pregunta. En el caso de la de, de esta oración que acabo de hacer. Eh, no hay no hay ningún inconveniente si se utilizan eh, dos verbos diferentes por ejemplo si no ocupo we, we, este wearing ah no lo que pasa es que ese wearing es nada más si usted indica que está usando una prenda de vestir pero usted puede utilizar cualquier otra acción estoy escuchando música clásica pero no estoy viendo el video eso es nada más uh -huh. como para practicar el wear el verbo wear pero puedo utilizar okay. cualquier otro verbo Miss. Oh, yes. Okay. Thank you. In the first question, I am reading. Why is it not contracted? Which one? Sorry. Why is it not contracted? I am. am. That's okay. It's two forms. The two forms can be. The two forms are correct. Sí. Solo bien. que esta es completa. Pero también um, puede ser contractado. Aquí también puede utilizar am writing para uh -huh. hacerlo más fluido. Pero las dos son correctas. Son correctas. Muy bien. Thank you, Miss. You're very welcome. Blanquita, are you ready? Yo quería que siguieran hablando. <laughs> We are giving you time. Es que, es que, créanme que, o sea, me, no me da pena, pero es. Este, no, come on, practice it. No entiendo. This is it's with the actions. Este es con las acciones que uno puede realizar en el momento. Es como el ando, endo en español. Estoy Ajá. corriendo, estoy caminando, estoy montando una bicicleta, comiendo, eh, estoy peleando, pensando, llorando, escuchando. Entonces, para indicar eso en inglés, necesito un verbo que indique acción, ¿verdad? Y a la forma base del verbo le vamos a agregar una ING. Por Ajá. ejemplo, en el caso de ride, que es montar. Riding. Acá como el verbo termina con una E, entonces yo sustituyo okay. y le agrego a ING. Luego continuamos con swimming. Mi forma base del verbo es swim, hasta la primera M. En este caso, como el verbo, vamos a aplicar una regla. Si hay un verbo en inglés que este, sus tres últimas letras terminan en consonante, vocal, consonante, vamos a duplicar la última consonante. Okay. Es el caso de swim. Swim. Aplicamos uh -huh. regla acá. 
Swim. So we say S W I M. Mis últimas tres letras son consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces uh -huh. acá al modificar el verbo, le voy a tener que duplicar la última consonante. La, consonante. la pronunciación es la misma, es swimming. Ya indicando que la acción se está realizando en el momento. Ya no diría ella nada, sino ella está nadando. Ella está uh -huh. nadando, pero no está usando lente, ¿verdad? Para nadar. Google. Uh -huh. Mismo acá, este, my son, y esa regla ¿sí? mis se va a aplicar para todas las que aparezcan así, consonante, vocal, consonante. Hay excepciones. Para todos. Hay excepciones. Ah. Por ejemplo, con el verbo, si usted tiene el verbo play, si observamos el verbo play, this, my, this, oh, this one, right? Play. Pero en el caso de play, no aplica, porque no vamos, podemos duplicar la Y. La Y no se duplica. Esa es una de las excepciones. Y se va a duplicar, en este caso, la última consonante. La, solo la última, exacto. Ah, solo okay. la última del verbo pero, en su forma Pero base. con las excepciones. En las excepciones, ajá. Por ejemplo, acá, el que les mencionaba que es play, si observamos acá, su última letra es consonante, vocal, consonante. Pero la letra Y es una de las excepciones. Y no podemos duplicar la Y. Aunque la pronunciación sea la, eh, la misma, Sería siempre playing, pero gramaticalmente estaría mal escrito. You say playing. Por eso study, studying, esa no se, no se duplica tampoco. Tiene una Y. En el caso de run, esa sí se duplica. Porque es consonante, vocal, consonante. Ahora, hay varios verbos que eh, solo tienen tres letras. Y esa aplica la regla que es consonante, vocal, consonante. Entonces, duplicamos, sería running. You duplicate the letter N. Se duplica. Entonces, sería así como, como algo corto, como decir, yo estoy viendo televisión. Que Ajá, sería, correct. I am watching, watching, wow, ¿cómo se dice? I am watching, watching TV. TV. Correct. So, es, estoy haciendo algo. I am laughing, me estoy riendo. I am reading, estoy leyendo. I am listening, estoy escuchando. Uh -huh. I am crying, estoy llorando. Ese es el ando en. Estoy, estoy haciendo, estoy realizando en el momento. Uh -huh. okay. I am thinking, estoy pensando. Yes. ¿Y este, y este cómo se pronunciaría? El cry. Ah, oh, this one. Uh -huh. Cry, cry, cry. 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 Ajá. So, with the ING, it would be crying. 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 Mm -hmm. crying. Yes. ¿Y eso significa? Llorar. Llorar. Es un verbo en forma base, en su forma infinitiva, es llorar. Todos están en su forma base. Mira, uh -huh. mi forma yes, tell me. Para sit down y stand up, eh, no cambiaría. In this case, you need to say sitting down. It's like this. You're going to change it. Esto sí va a cambiar, se va a duplicar. If you say, I am sitting down. I'm sitting down on the chair. En la silla. Para aquí ya no, no lo traducimos como me estoy sentando. Porque describe un estoy estado sentado. del cuerpo. Estoy sentado. Porque es un, mm. no uno que se para, se sienta, se para, se sienta. Me estoy sentando, ¿no? Right? <ríe> Pero es, ese es el estado de, del cuerpo. Estoy sentado sobre la silla. Or I am, you say, I am sitting down, I am standing up, estoy parado o estoy de pie. Ahora, sitting, si me va a cambiar, porque aplica la regla, es consonante, vocal consonante. Duplicate the last consonant or the final consonant. In the case of stand, aquí no aplica, porque las últimas letras son Vocal, consonante, consonante. Entonces aquí se aplica, se va normal. Standing, standing up. Y pues, el que se va a modificar es el verbo. La preposición nunca me va a cambiar. Es como un adjetivo en inglés que nunca va a ser plural, nunca va a modificarse. Este en el tiempo en el que esté. Ok, Finally, gracias. You're very welcome. Ok. Okay. Laquita, are you ready? 
Okay. Yes, go ahead. Ajá, y ese ejemplo que le di está bien. I am watching TV. That is right, good. I am watching TV. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's good, okay. yeah. That's okay. okay. I am watching TV. You can say, I am watching TV right now. I am watching uh, TV at this moment with my family. I am watching TV, but... I am not eating dinner, for example, or okay. but I am not watching my favorite program, right? You can also include like more compliments. So this will be some examples, right? Now, Judy, Edith, give us another example, please. Sería my husband. My husband. Husband uh -huh. is playing soccer. Is playing soccer. Okay, that's good. He's but playing. he's but he's not. Uh -huh. But he's not. He's not wearing. Okay. Tengo duda. ¿Cómo se dicen eh, tacos? Sería his soccer eh, shoes. ¿O soccer cómo se shoes. Dice? Yeah, okay. Entonces sería. Eh, but he's not wearing his soccer shoes. That's all right, good one. Okay, so there you have a specific type of shoes. That's the right one. Okay. Good one. Okay, we have good examples here then. Now, let's continue. Now, remember that here you had also exercise. What about this one? Just like a, an example, right, of this. Let's check. If we say, my name is Claire, I'm wearing a green suit today. How will you answer this? You have the subject I. How will the answer be? What do you think? Gabriela? Gabriela? I am wearing. All right, that's good. I am wearing high heels or I'm wearing high heels, right? Remember, it can be complete or contraction. Recuerden que a veces la plataforma puede aceptar contracción o de manera completa, but the two forms are correct. What about the next one? It's raining, but... Uh, I'm not wearing. Okay, but I'm not wearing. Yeah, I'm not that's wearing. Right. Let's see, I'm not wearing. So that will be this point in the end or here. But I'm not wearing. It's raining, but I'm not wearing a raincoat. In this case, you can write a contraction or complete. I am not wearing a raincoat. Now that was an example, right? That you have there. Questions about it? No questions? The present continues? Yes, Miss. Yes. Tell me. Preguntas? No questions? No. No, no okay. teacher. All right. Now, uh, let's take some minutes to pass the attendance list. So let me go to our present. Let us start. Aaron Alberto. Present. Thank you. Adalicet. Present. Thank you so much. Alejandra Margarita. Ah, oh, yes, I remember Alejandra. She told me. We'll be missing her. Okay, we have Alejandra. Ariel Alexandra. Ariel Alexandra. Not present. Okay, let's continue then with Blanca Rosa. Present. Thank you very much. 
Brian René. Brian. Douglas Heriberto. Douglas Heriberto. Elmer N. Nilsson. Elmer. Fernando de Jesús. Present. Fernando. Yes, thank you so much. Gabriela Abigail. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Susana. Jocelyn Susana. Then we have Juan Alberto. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Kenya Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Very good. Then we have Maria Emilia. Oh, Maria Emilia told me to not be present. Then Marisol Elizabeth. Marisol Elizabeth. Right, let's continue then with Nevi Solina. Present, Miss. Thank you so much. Rafael Antonio. Okay. Rafael. Present. Present. Thank you so much. La niña saluda por mi present. Rafael, come on, that's your voice. Esa no es su voz. What happens, I said. No, ya ve, con estos árabes para la tos le cambia la voz a uno. We have Rebecca, right? Rebecca Vanessa. Present. Yes, thank you so much. Sandra Guadalupe. Present, Miss. Thank you, very good. Then we have Sandra Margarita. Present. Thank you. Tochil Janilet. Present. Thank you. And we have Judy. Present. Judy Edith. Thank you. Los mencioné a todos. Did I mention everybody? Yes. That's right. Okay. Let's continue then, guys. Okay, we were here with our present progressive. Now, let's go here. We saw about the affirmative forms, and we know that in the negative manner, also you include the, the not. Okay. We have the yes, no questions. We know yes, no question, you investigate if it's affirmative or the negative form. Now, let's go with this. A present continuous tense. Now we have here. In the yes, no question, we have the verb be as is, am, are, depending on the subject. So you have the subject, you have the verb, plus ing, and you need a question mark because it's interrogative mark. For example, is he playing football? We have other examples. Are you learning? You have affirmative? Yes, I am. This one is a short, right? Short answer. If you have complete manner, then you need to say, yes, I am learning. I put the complete. Another example. Is she playing tennis? And you see that is negative, right? She's not playing tennis. What is she playing? Football. She's playing football, right? Okay. So the answer is no, she isn't. Are they having dinner? Say yes, they are. So it can be affirmative or negative form. Now I have other examples here. Yes and no. Is he writing now? Your answer, yes, he is. Is he playing at the moment? No, he isn't. Are they sleeping? Yes, they are. Are they reading? No, they aren't. Okay, now we're going to read these ones. Let's see, Ada, can you please read the first one? Is he writing now? <clears throat> Is he writing now? Very Is good. He writing? 
Bye. Hasta ahí. Yeah, that's okay. Is he writing now? Is he... Is he playing at the moment? At the moment. Very good. Okay. So now ah, the answer. Son preguntas. Okay. Yo tengo que responder. And the answer. And the answer. <laughs> ah. so, let's repeat the question, please. This one. Is he writing now? Uh, yes. Ah, no. Yes, he is. That's good. Thank you. Good. Continue, Kenya. Kenya Vanessa. Continue here. Is he playing at the moment? Is he playing at the moment? Thank you. I don't no. continue. No. Answer. No, he's, he's not. He isn't. He isn't. He isn't. That's right. Very good. Thank you. Now, Judy and it. Continue here. Are they sleeping? Can you please repeat? All right, se lo escucha bien, bajito. No sé si solo yo le escucho así. Fíjense que tengo problemas con el audio. Estoy ah. saliendo de mi clase de Excel intermedio y el mismo problema. Eh, oh, por eso creo God. que se okay. escucha así. Así que Ajá. no sé. Are they pero, sleeping? Pero ya se le escucha mejor. Ah, va. Voy a gritar. <ríe> voy a gritar. Ajá, you need to shout. Excelente. <ríe> yeah, great. Thank you. Okay. okay. Are they sleeping? Debbie, answer it, please. Yes? Yes, they are. Perfect. That's good. Sandra Margarita, continue. Are they reading? Are they reading? Thank you. Continue. Fernando, please. Answer. No, they aren't. Really good job. Nice. Okay. I'll observe something important here. When we have a yes, no question, and the answer is affirmative, and it's short answer, it's necessary to give complete answer. Cuando la respuesta es afirmativa y es corta, es necesario dar eh, la respuesta de manera completa. Es incorrecto decir yes, his, como una contracción en afirmativa. Ahora, si la respuesta es larga, entonces se puede utilizar ya sea completa o una contracción. Si vemos acá, si es negativa, si es corta, entonces sí, es necesario utilizarla de manera contractada. No, he isn't. Oh, completa. Si es completa, entonces puede ser de las dos maneras, tanto completa o puede ser contractada. Entonces, no, he isn't, or no, he isn't playing at the moment, or no, he is not playing at the moment. ¿Se comprende? ¿Cómo sería una respuesta bien estructurada para si responder? Fuera, yes, si fuera... he's Ajá. reading. Ajá. Reading. Yes, he is. In this case, for example, here, like, is he writing now? Yes, he is. Short answer. Esta sería una respuesta corta. Pero si es completa, si la respuesta es completa, Siempre ambas son bien estructuradas, solo que esta es como una manera más fluida y más puntual. Pero si queremos nosotros contestar de manera completa, incluyendo el verbo, sería así. Yes. And you can use contraction, right? Yes, he is writing now. Eso sería completa. O sea, ya completa. O sea que va. agregaríamos el complemento. Es necesario, ajá, cuando es completa. No puede decir solo como, yes, he's writing. Se puede. Solo que estaría como tanto incompleta porque en la pregunta yo llevo toda la información. Entonces, si es afirmativa y esta es completa, entonces incluyo todo. Si es negativa, igual. Si tenemos la manera corta, es lo correcto es eh, estructurarla contractada ya sea de manera corta o de manera completa. Si fuera completa, entonces sería no, he isn't playing at the moment. Yes? Sí. Questions? Sí. Any other questions? Thank you, teacher. You're very Please. welcome. Miss. Right. Yes, tell me. Pero, y en ese caso no se va a escuchar muy... Como robotizada la respuesta. 
Si se dice de manera completa, sí. Por eso no es necesario en la respuesta incluir el verbo. Pero sí se puede. Es aceptable en gramática. Y de hecho, se utiliza más que todo en básico cuando uno quiere practicar el vocabulario. Ah, muy Como bien. Para volver para, 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 a practicarlo, a repetirlo. A repetir. la, ajá, exactamente. Todas las dos posibles respuestas. Y así ir practicando uno el vocabulario, la pronunciación, cómo va a ir, el primero va a ir el sujeto, luego cómo va a ir el verbo to be, luego va a ir el verbo, plaza y en chip. Entonces sí, ayuda bastante. Y ya pues después, ¿verdad? Cuando uno ya pues adopta más fluidez. Ok, yes, he is. Eh, no, he isn't. No, I'm not. Yes, I am para practicar aquí todo el vocabulario. Bien, gracias mucho. Yes, you're very welcome. Any other question? No. Okay. okay, let's go ahead then. We have other questions. Am I skating? No, you aren't. Now, remember here, we're investigating about myself. We're investigating acerca de uno mismo. Ya sea que uno se pregunte a sí mismo o que le pregunte a alguien más. Y la respuesta, el mi sujeto, va a depender de a quién yo le estoy preguntando. So, like here, am I skating? ¿Estoy patinando? No, you aren't. En este caso, le está preguntando a alguien más. O sea, ¿estoy patinando? No, no está patinando. O oh, no, no lo estás. Am I making a snowman? Yes, you are. You see, it's a different subject. Another question will be, are they having dinner? No, they aren't. Look at that here, you have a short answer. As is short answer, then you use a negative form, but it's contraction form. But the complete will be no, They aren't having dinner. Or no, they are not having dinner. You have two possibilities here. Are they reading a book? Yes, they are. Affirmative short answer, not correct to use contraction. So it's not to say, yes, they are. Porque suena como si falta más información. No, they are. They are what? A menos que sea completa, como les mencionaba. Si es completa, puede ser de las dos maneras. Tanto contractada o puede ser eh, estructurada completa. Now, let's see here. Is he watching a film? No, he isn't. Contraction? Short answer. Is he playing a video game? Yes, he is. Affirmative? Short answer? Complete. No contraction. Are you sleeping? No. Perdón, en yes, la sir. anterior puede yeah. ser la negativa, no, he is not. Sure, o siempre tiene uh -huh. que ser contratado. No, Contra that's okay. Con By contraction. Con contracción. Ajá, uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. it's necessary. Uh -huh. Ah, it's necessary. Because it's short. Siempre y cuando la respuesta sea corta, debe de ir Tiene que ir contractado. Pero puede ir, de puede ir de dos formas. Sí, es contractado. Puede decir, no, no, he is not. Dice, Excellent, that's all right. Ajá, recordemos que acá, eh, cuando sea a partir del verbo, eh, if you say like are, is, right, and to the subject here, after the verb, you have the verb to be. He's not. Va a la negación. No, he's not. No, he isn't. Pero porque es contracción. Pero si es completa, entonces yo puedo agregarle, no, he is not watching a film. Si es completa, entonces va a ir incluyendo toda la información. De cualquiera de las dos formas se va a ver correcto siempre. De cualquiera, exacto. De cualquiera de las dos formas contractado es correcto. Acá no, no hay ningún problema en eso. Okay. Ahora, si es afirmativo, sí. Es incorrecto utilizar contracción. Si quiero decir, yes, he is. Porque suena, incluso suena como si falta más, como que la persona va a seguir dando más información. Yes. His. His what? Necesito completarlo. Entonces, sí. cuando la palabra es corta, lo, lo, lo primordial es, es 
Perdón, cuando es... la respuesta es cort, es corta. Ajá. Y si es afirmativa, no. entonces debe de ir completo. Completa. Sujeto y verb to be. Yes, he is. Pero si, y si es negativo y agregamos el no, ahí es, ahí es contractado. Ahí es contractado, correcto. Es por regla. Por regla tiene que ir contractado. You need a contraction there. Now, you have another case here. You have, are you sleeping? Are you sleeping? Say, no, I'm not. Look at that here. It's only one option of contraction. En el caso de I, recuerda que les mencionaba que en, la, en el caso de negación de I, primera persona, no existen dos formas correctas de contractarlo. Solo hay una. I'm not. No hay otra. No es como el resto de los sujetos que puedo utilizar. He isn't or no. He's not. Dos formas. O oh, acá también, en el caso de, you can say, they aren't or they are not. You aren't or you're not. It's two possibilities. Pero con I, no podemos decir, I ain't. No, we cannot. That's not correct. Now, let's see here. Are you playing with your kite? Yes, I am. Yes, I'm. No, that will not be correct. So let's ask some questions. Let's practice with this. Let's see, Rebecca, Vanessa, are you writing? Are you writing? Uh -huh. Give us the answer, please. Yes, I am or no, I'm not? Uh, no, I'm not. No, I'm not, very good. Okay, now let's see, Rebecca, you formulate a question to Kenya, Vanessa. And you can use different verbs. Utilicemos esos verbos que tenemos acá. Are you watching TV? Excellent, very good. Are you watching TV? No, no, they are not. You, you, you. The subject is you, it's direct question. Are you watching TV? Yes, I am or no, I'm not. No, I'm not. No, I'm not, that's good. Judy? You formulate the question to Fernando. Fernando. Fernando, are you present? Are you? Are you? Are, are you funny? Ah, good. Are you running? I, are you running? Excellent. That's good. No sé si es in the park. Ah, that's At good. The... Yes. You can say two forms. Puede ser de las dos formas. In or at ah, the park. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Are you running up the park? Excellent, good one. Fernando, your answer? No, I am not. Excellent, that's good. Or no, I'm not. Because it's your answer. Ya que es una respuesta corta, entonces debe de ir contratado. No, I'm not. Yes, okay. Rafael, formulating the questions to Sandra Margarita. Rafael, are you present? Okay, Sandra Margarita, formulate the question to Ada. Ada, are you listening the class? Are you listening to? In the case of the listen, we're going to need to. Listening. Ada, to are class. you listening to class? Aha, uh -huh, good, to the class. Yes, I am, or yes, I do. Yes, I am, I am. Porque el verbo que conjugamos es el am, am. El okay. lo vamos a utilizar en otra estructura. Ok, ok. Sí, yes, I am. I am. Very good job. That's nice. Aaron, formulate the question to Blanca. Mm -hmm. Blanca. She is walking the park, at the park. He is what? It's a question. It's a question. I don't. It's a question. You need to formulate. Is she? Ya que es pregunta, debe de cambiarse de posición. Oh, sure, so sorry. Es sería entonces. Eh, is she's. She, is she? Is she? Is she walking at the park? 
That's good, okay? Is she walking at the park? Si estoy en el parque. Walking, walking. Remember what's walking? Walking. Caminando. Está oh, caminando. Walking. Caminando. Pero como es acción, puede decir no, no. Ajá, you can say no. No. Eh, no sé qué más decir. <laughs> She isn't. If it's She isn't, it's... no. She no? isn't, no. She isn't. Isn't, no. Isn't. No, she isn't. No. No, she isn't. She isn't. She is is. like this. No, uh -huh. she isn't. So that will be the answer. Sería como una respuesta corta. No, she isn't. Uh -huh. She isn't. That is all right. Significa Good que right. no lo está haciendo entonces, ¿verdad? Exactly. Uh -huh. Y como es una respuesta corta, no es necesario agregar el verbo. Uh -huh. Toda la información es opcional. No, no estoy, no, 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 no estoy caminando. Ajá, no, no estoy caminando, no, ella no lo está o no está caminando. Uh -huh. That would be yeah. the answer. Thank you. Thank you. Let's see, Juan Alberto, formulate the question to Nevi. Yo la formulo. Juan Alberto, for ¿Sí? Nevi. You formulate the question for Nevi. Me puede poner la lámina. Ah, yes, this one. La puede ver. This is of action verbs. This one. Esta de acá. Puede verla. No. No. Esta que aparece como action verbs. Y aparecen las imágenes de walk, run, write. Quizás en el celular lo está viendo. Sí, en el sí. teléfono lo tengo. Ah, okay. Tiene que pasarse. Ahí, ahí hay como. La forma yo aquí. Ok, go ahead. Se la formulo yo. Go ahead, please, please, please. Muy bien. Eh, are you listening music reggae? Listening? Are you listening music to? reggae? Listening to reggae music. Como to reggae. reggae. Es como un adjetivo, entonces va a ir antes del sujeto. Entonces sería, are you listening? Listening to? In reggae music. Ajá, are you listening to reggae music? Are you listening to listening? reggae music? Listening. 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 listening, perdón. Listening okay. to reggae music. That's good, right? Very good. The answer? Hello, where are you? Hola. Hello, hello. La pregunta es si estoy escuchando o me gusta escuchar música reggae. Si sí, está escuchando. Escuchando. Are you listening to reggae music? Yes or no? No. No. I'm not. No, I'm not. Ajá. No, I'm not. Because it's short answer, right? Cuando es una respuesta corta. Nick, y, si quisiera, y si quisiera darle otro tipo de respuesta, como por lo menos decirle, no, ese estilo de música o tipo de música no me gusta. Es posible, yes, es posible, porque ahí usted está agregando como una información adicional. Pues de hecho está diciendo que no la está escuchando, right? So, no, I, I don't like that kind of music. No me gusta But you answer with a no, right? Primero ponemos como confirmamos a que es negativa. No, I don't like that kind of music or that type of music. Or I don't like reggae music. You can also say like that. Do you have questions, guys? Miss. Yes, tell me. A mí siempre me confunde esa corrección que usted me hizo. Porque estaba tu, yo había escrito aquí tu music reggae, pero usted me oh. dijo que es tu reggae music. Esa, yes. esa, eso no sé cuándo usarlo. Because it's, it's like an adjective, es un adjetivo. Like uh, when you say, are you, like this, let me write an example. Here. Are you eating Chinese food? This is a 
present progressive form or present continuous. Now, what is the type of food? ¿Qué tipo de comida es? Comida china. Excellent, that's correct. Este es un adjetivo. Este me está dando la característica, en este caso de la comida. La comida. La comida acá mm -hmm. Es un nombre. Are you eating Chinese food? No puede ser, are you eating food Chinese? En inglés va a ir primero el adjetivo y después el sujeto. Este, um, bachata music, reggae music, rock music, pop music. No puede ser eh, music pop. Or, siempre, eh, siempre va a ser así, Miss. Cuando se encuentre un sujeto y un adjetivo, primero un va a ir el adjetivo. adjetivo y luego el sujeto. As that's correct. Primero calificamos y luego va a ir el nombre. A menos que vaya diferente la oración, que digamos. Y en el, eh, y en el caso, perdón, y en el caso que es un carro rojo, sería a red car. A red car. Ah, muy bien. That Thank is you, a red car. Ajá. Muy so bien. Say, that bien. is a red car. Ese es un carro rojo. Muy bien. A Thank menos you. que lleve otra estructura que diga, mi carro es rojo. Es, al car. final lo está utilizando. My car is red. Is red. Uh -huh. Ajá, porque está diciendo, ¿verdad? My sister yes. is happy. Mi hermana está feliz. Pero eso lleva a otra estructura. Any other question? No? All right, tomorrow we're going to continue with this. We need to continue with this. So have sweet dreams, guys. Have very sweet dreams. Dream with the angels. And I'll see you tomorrow night. Me, y a qué horas le llegó la luz? It was like around 10.30. Eran como las diez y media. <laughs> it was very late. Ya era bien noche. It was too late. Es que llovió en forma general, Miss. Sí. Uh, Ana estaba por un lado, los compañeros de María por San Martín, y todo sí. estaba lloviendo. Sí, sí, es que de repente empezó a llover. De repente, es mi... Me admiró porque todo el día no había, no había estado así ni anunciando ni nada, pero... De repente cayó el tormentón. Es una consulta, una, una yes. duda existencial que tenemos. Ajá. Cuando usted se, se desconecta, la clase queda, sigue grabando, ¿verdad que ya no? Fíjese que queda <risa> pendiente, que, queda pendiente grabándose, como Zoom la graba. Y ahí se queda el pedazo hasta donde uno llega. <risa> Yo le dije... <risa> Está a veces mi compañero quería saber mi nada más. Sí, no llega hasta digamos que todo haga. Ajá. Expulsado. Es que viera esta hada teacher dio un montón de malas palabras. No le digo. No. Lisa, yo no la quería hacer la teacher el otro módulo. Ah, ok. You're going to be my, my co-worker. Compañera de trabajo, going to be with co-workers. Ah, ahorita, está, ahorita está en remojo. Ah, yo enseñándole que Aaron y ella fue a otra casa. <risa> Pero el día vale, de ayer nos sirvió, nos sirvió bastante, oh, fíjese, mi yes, también. Yes, yes, Logramos sí. interactuar y conocernos, sí, porque perfecto. a veces sí. solamente veníamos, entrábamos a la clase y no teníamos esta apertura, ¿verdad? Pero sí, nos ayudó sí, bastante sí. para eso. Sí, tiene razón, fue una buena oportunidad. Pues igual aprovechamos también porque en el grupo estuvimos haciendo práctica, ¿verdad? Del writing también. <risa> good questions, good answers. That was very good. <laughs> so we'll continue oh. tomorrow then, guys. Thank Bye. you so much. Okay. It was very good. A pleasure to see you one more night. Have a very good night. Good okay. night. Good, good night. night. Good good night. night. See, you. see you tomorrow. Thank you. Good night. Thank you very see you much. Tomorrow. Good night. Have a good night. Bye. Take care. Goodbye.